Why are investors so scared of the uh, the previous administration? Because it should be mentioned that Christina Fernandez de Kirchner would be the vice president with Alberto Fernandez uh, of returning to power. Because they're worried they're not going to get their money back on their bonds. Um, it's that's that's un underlying that this whole issue, and that's why we're seeing uh, people selling Argentina very strongly. We're seeing the the peso plunge, as you mentioned. Um, the, the, the problem here is that Macri for the past four years has been trying to reestablish a credibility, uh, as we heard in, in that clip just now. Um, that's pretty much the story. And that's why international investors have trusted Macri. He's done his level best to try to put the country back on a stable footing. Uh, he's won a, a, a record IMF bailout um, to try to help, um, you know, as I say, steer the country back onto some kind of um, realistic uh, economic model. Um, uh, the alternative, of course, is that we go back to the, the populist uh, policies that you talked about, that the uh, um, Fernandez um, uh, camp represent. But of course, that really doesn't talk to what the ordinary Argentines are feeling. And they're feeling the crunch of the Macri uh, policies, the austerity, the 50% inflation, and so on and so forth, the, the you know, double-digit unemployment. And so you've got this kind of uh, dichotomous divide between how the international community looks at Argentina and how ordinary Argentines uh, see the country. And that's why we've seen this big shock election result and the concern in markets at the moment. Yes, but the thing is, can Alberto Fernandez, uh, Justin, actually achieve the same goals with different policies while maintaining the support of the IMF? Well, the IMF is key here, and I think uh, what, what is really important now is to see how Fernandez negotiates these next couple of months. Is he going to make all the right noises that say, yes, we'll talk to the IMF, we'll uh, try to, um, you know, continue some of the policies that, that, um, that Macri has, has brought in? Or is he going to say, no, we're going to go back to the old plan? And that's, and that's really what people want to see. The initial signs are not entirely positive because he's already started to blame Macri for the state of the country. Uh, Macri has said, well, look at what markets are doing right now. That's all a reflection of what people think you represent. So it's very much the blame game going on at the moment. Um, he has, uh, he being Rodriguez, uh, so, sorry, Fernandez has already said that uh, he doesn't want to default on the bonds. Well, yes, well, who would? But, um, you know, the market is seeing it very differently now. Uh, I think someone was talking yeah. about 75% probability of a default uh, over the next five years, according to uh, credit default swaps. One, one of the things I was uh, talking about with colleagues this morning, Justin, how likely is it that market pricing changes the outcome of an election? Uh, you know, we've, we've seen these kind of things before, for example, in Turkey when the lira dropped out of control or rather rose in relation to the dollar it didn't seem like erdogan lost a lot of support due to the economic situation can we expect uh, nothing to change voters minds these kind of things not to change voters minds in argentina either I don't think so. Um, I think you've, you've brought a very good point. Of course, we see all these numbers and they look very ugly. But again, people on the ground really aren't that much uh, or as aware of what goes on in the stock exchange or, you know, uh, you know, they're not looking at bond prices. They're looking at how to get through the next few days. Um, uh, uh, now, the big question is inflation. Of course, this big sell off in the peso is obviously if it's sustained this way and it looks as if it might be for, for some considerable time. No one sees the peso coming back from this um, to any considerable degree, then that's going to have an inflationary knock-on effect. But of course, that's not going to show up for, for a while yet, and certainly not really before the election. And Argentines are already grappling with 50% inflation. So, you know, what is a, you know, a little bit of extra inflation on top of that uh, really going really to do? Is it going to make much, much of a yeah. difference? I doubt it.